This is the guitar that goes through from the Yardbirds to the first album of Led Zeppelin. I love this guitar. And this guitar was given to me by Jeff Beck during the time that he was in the Yardbirds. Then we come to the amplifier, which interacted really well with, with this Telecaster, and the whole of that first album is done with this guitar, this amplifier, wah wah pedal, and the other one. Joe Walsh came along, he had a Les Paul, and he said, well, use it, just play it. I said, what, in the show tonight? He said, yeah, yeah, in the show tonight. <laughs> It's just a real dream to be playing this guitar. I never looked back from that point, really. It's brought me a lot of luck. I think the Marshall was always known to interact so well with the Les Paul standard. When I was a studio musician, one of the violinists gave me his bow to try it out, and I thought, well, that's really, really interesting. Then we come to the theremin. I used it on the middle part of Hollow of Love, where it's this big sort of uh, avant-garde section. Why the double neck? On the stairway, I'd employed an acoustic guitar at the beginning of it, and then two separate electric 12 strings in on each channel. And then I thought, how am I going to approach this number? It needed to have all these voices of the 12 string and the 6 string. It became a real sort of working tool in the band, but it also became really iconic. Making your grandmother nervous. Can't find you I think the guitar chose me. I managed to make my passion, my hobby, and my hobby to my... Um, like you as such, like all the other guitarists who are in that exhibition, you know, everyone's story would have a common denominator through it, which is their love and passion for playing the guitar.